Welcome to Grow Bio channel. In today's video, we're gonna see about 2008 bed question paper with explanation. Part 2 Carboxymethyl cellulose is Options are cation exchange matrix, gel filtration matrix, anion exchange matrix and plant cell wall constituent. The answer is A. A cation exchange matrix. The CMC is the cation exchange matrix that is the negatively charged cation resin will attract the positive molecule so it is known as cation exchange matrix. The cations are positively charged, the anions are negatively charged. The cathode and cation exchangers are negatively charged. Okay, They will attract the positively charged cations towards them. Okay, the, So the answer is cation exchange matrix. Next is biological washing powder removes stains by enzyme action. Which of the following combination would be the most effective in removing the egg stain? So the answer is D. Lipase and protease. The egg has fat and protein content. So the egg stain can be removed through lipase which digests the lipid content and protease which digests the protein content. So the answer is D. Lipase and protease. Next is a tetanus booster shot result in increased production of Answer is antibodies which neutralize tetanus toxin Okay, the vaccination will promote more antibodies against the specific organism They will give shot of attenuated form of uh, tetanus or their toxins etc So it does not include any killer cell Because here only toxin the attenuated form of toxin which doesn't affect uh, human body will be given okay only a small dosage so here they do not include any killer cells natural killer cells or t cells these cells will be uh, produced only when antigen clostridium totani itself uh, when uh, infect the body okay it is present in the soil so then only they become activated by cell mediated immunity okay so it kills the antigen by killer cells activation. Otherwise, by vaccination, they will promote only antibody production. Okay, not the killing time because killing will occur only when the antigen is present in the body. Okay, so the answer is C. Antibodies which neutralize tetanus toxin. So here you can see a mouse which is in, injected uh, with toxin and it produces more antibodies. Next is allotypes. What is allotypes? The answer is antigenic determinant that is epitope which segregate within the species. So antigenic determinants that is epitope it is present in certain organism for example E. coli. Okay, So they contain antigenic determinants. So in order to overcome their infection in the body our body will produce paratope. It has antigenic determinant site. Okay, the site will know the antigenic determinants, so it will produce the antibody against that specific species. So here, allo means different. Okay, typos means mark. So different mark will be there for different species. So it is an allele of antigenic determinant that is present in the same species itself. Okay, same species itself, different strain will be there. Okay, for that also, there will be more difference. So, this is the allele of antigenic determinants. It is known as allotypes. Okay. And next is ELISA. What is ELISA? The answer is C. Okay, involves addition of substrate which is converted to the colored end product. Here, ELISA itself means enzyme-linked immunosorbent assay. It does not include any radio labeled antibodies. So option B is wrong. And there is no need for RBC cells. So option C, D is wrong. Okay. And no cell lysis will occur. Okay. So option A is wrong. So the answer is it involves the addition of substrate which is converted to colored end product. This ELISA is used for knowing the presence of antigens or antibodies. Okay. So in the cell. What kind of antigen is present or what kind of antibodies is present in the infected person can be known by using this test. It is famous for HIV testing. Okay. So, but it is not the confirmatory test. Only western blood is uh, confirmatory test. 
here you can see a capture antibody that is blue in color then we will add antigen okay if the antigen is locked into that particular antibody then we will add detection antibody that is in yellow in color so if this complex is done then we have to know whether it is uh, attached or not so we will add secondary antibody with enzyme okay enzyme linked antibody that is known as secondary antibody if it attaches to the detection antibody then we have to know by external appearance so we will add substrate to that when this bond occurs then this enzyme will attach to the substrate then it will produce the colored end product so by changing color we can know that the reaction is positive next is which of the following is not the member of immunoglobin super gene family answer is b lymphokines the igsf is the family it is not the immunoglobulin itself okay initially it is found in immunoglobulin so it is named like that and then it is found in many cells of the body so they are similar to immunoglobulin in structure and not in every function it is not like immunoglobulin itself it is somewhat different so they are called as immunoglobulin super gene family it helps in adhesion okay igsf uh, helps in adhesion so t cell receptor fc antibodies they help in adhesion of the cell and recognized by the cells or antigen here question is which is not the member of igsf so the answer is lymphokine it just it is just a cytokine that is produced by the lymphocyte it just direct signal to the cell so it is not the member of igsf family so the answer is b lymphokines exchange of two chromosome is known as answer is reciprocal translocation so exchange of two non homologous chromosome is known as b reciprocal translocation inversion duplication that and all will occur in the same chromosome okay crossing over will occur between homologous chromosome that is allele present in x and y okay that is if uh, chromosome one of mother and chromosome one of father is there then there will be the they are the allele of the same chromosome so one will be dominant one will be recessive so when this two chromosome one of uh, different species is done then it is known as homologous chromosome reciprocal translocation means it is the special one where the translocation of two non homologous chromosome occurs that is the exchange of gene between completely different chromosome for example chromosome 1 and chromosome 20 so no allele will be common there but exchange occurs this type of translocation is known as reciprocal translocation it will create a series of uh, disease etc okay next is est or obtained through the answer is b cdna library what is est est is the expressed sequence tag it is a short subsequence of the cdna that is complementary dna sequence which is obtained through rna okay it work to identify the gene transcript so it is used in discovery of gene and gene sequence determination is done by using this so est is obtained via cdna library okay next is targeted suppression of gene expression is achieved by answer is rna i that is rna interfering gene target that suppress the rna so what happens protein will not be produced so the gene will be silenced so whereas other thing like uh, option d gamma and uh, ems ems means ethyl methyl sulfonate that is carcinogenic in nature these two are non specific okay the tdna insertion help in transfer of genetic material from one to other organism but not specific in nature this tdna is known as transfer dna it is present in agrobacterium tumefaciens so this is non specific in nature so the specific targeted one is rna i okay it specifically targets one gene and then uh, silences it and next is a se set of two or more overlapping dna sequence or fragments that form a contiguous stretch of dna is called 
Answer is A. Contix. The contix is the contiguous overlapping DNA fragments. So that it is named as contix. Okay. Whereas BAC clones and YAC clones and MAP or clones of bacteria. BAC is clones of bacteria. Yeast is clones of yeast. So and continuous sequence of gene which we call as, uh, as mapping. Okay. So these three are non-overlapping DNA fragments. But contix are overlapping DNA fragments. Okay. 28. Scientist involved with golden rice technology is? Answer is I. Potricus. B. Option. So the Potricus and Peter Bayer involved in golden rice. The golden rice is the transgenic rice produced for the betterment of livestock and humans. So they have beta carotene content in it which eliminates the vitamin A deficiency. So the world will be uh, without night blindness see so the others such as M.S. Swaminathan, G.S. Kush, Norman Borlaug or agronomist okay Norman uh, Borlaug involved in green revolution similarly M.S. Swaminathan and Kush involved in increased food supply in order to overcome the starving among the people so I. Podrigas is involved in transgenic rice production Haploid production of anther culture was first demonstrated by Answer is B. Guha and Maheshwari They worked on haploid plant culture They trusted in totipotency of the plant So involved in haploid culture They in particular involved in pollen culture Okay, Other scientists such as uh, Murashanji and Skoog involved in developing MS media for uh, plant tissue culture Similarly Bojwani involved in uh, in vitro embryogenesis and organogenesis of the plant and cocking involved in nitrogen fixation studies okay so the haploid production of anther culture was done by guha and maheshwari the peptide bond is the rigid bond because it is a answer is partial double bond the bond between COOH of one amino acid and NH2 of other amino acid creates a peptide bond CONH by hydrolysis and release the water. Partial double bond or because of sharing the electron between oxygen and nitrogen. That is two electrons of nitrogen transfers it into the carbon. Okay, the balanced carbon will have only four valency so it transfers that lonely pair of two carbon to the oxygen atom so there will be continuous change in the bond okay so c single bond n will be there and c double bond n will be there similarly c double bond o will be there or c single bond o will be there this can exist as single and double bond so it is known as partial double bond okay so it is strong than the single bond okay so next here you can see the picture the red one is the peptide bond that is between the carbon and nitrogen next if we increase the confidence limits then answer is non-significant result may change to significant result the confidence li limit is the interval estimation of the mean so if the confidence limit is extended then non-significant result will change to significant because there will be more numbers when the confidence limit is raised so mean of that sequence will change it will lead to insignificant result here you can see the graph here that red one is the extended sequence okay so the mean that is the average between the sequence will be extended so the non-significant result will change to significant result so next is a woman has a colorblind father but husband with normal vision what are the chances for their sons and daughters to be colorblind? The answer is C. Half for son, zero for daughter. The colorblindness is the X-linked inheritance. Okay. So the da daughter will not be affected. They are only the carriers. Okay. Only the male will be affected by this. And female just acts as the carriers. So there is 50% chance for boys and same 50% chance for girls. But it affects only boys and not girls where the girl acts as the carrier so half for son that is 50 percent for the for the son and other half cannot be present for girls because they act as the only carriers okay they are not infected by that 
so zero for daughters and half that is 50% for sons so the answer is c half for sons zero for daughters an isolated human population consider an island okay with approximately equal number of blue eyed and uh, brown eyed individual was killed due to the earthquake only a few brown eyed people remained to form the next generation this kind of change is the gene pool in the gene pool it is called as bottleneck effect it is the reduction in population size due to the environmental event it can be earthquake tsunami etc so by environmental event if any reduction in gene occurs that kind of gene pool is known as bottleneck effect whereas we can see others too what is founder effect founder effect means separation of small colonies from the large so the gene variation will be low because there will be um, gene flow between the uh, some population okay so gene variation will not be there so this is called as founder effect okay example island population next is blocked gene flow what is gene flow gene flow means flowing of gene between the population but when it is blocked or stopped because of geography of the earth or uh, some kind of event it is known as blocked gene flow so the gene variation will be low and next is hardy weinberg equilibrium means the gene variation remains constant from one gene to other when no disturbance occurs in the environment or absence of disturbing factors for example in hiroshima nagasaki incident we can know that uh, for consecutive generation there is uh, some uh, defects in children so here the equilibrium is disturbed so when there is no uh, disturbance in the equilibrium then gene flow will be same so no disturbance occurs in that kind of environment so gene variation will also remain as constant so the answer is here the answer is bottleneck effect it is a reduction in the population size due to the environmental events thank you if you have any no doubt let me know by commenting in the comment section below subscribe and please press the bell button below thank you